the following. So basically what you do is you take the derivative of the inside and then the derivative of the trig function and essentially it's kind of like the chain rule so we can set we could actually set u equal to the square root of x or x it's the same thing as x raised to the one half and du will be equal to one half x raised to the negative one half so our derivative is going to be so we'll have cosine u derivative is going to be du because that's the derivative of u times the derivative of the cosine is negative sine and then u sub everything back in we'll have one half we'll, we'll bring the negative out front so we'll have negative one half sine of quantity I made a mistake I didn't include x raised to the negative one half times the sine fill back in square root of x and if we really want to we can put this x raised to the negative one half on the bottom so we can go ahead and do this negative sine square root of x over and we'll just put two on the bottom here times the square root of x or you could write x to the one half it doesn't matter so anyway that's how you do that i hope this helped you out thanks for watching have a great day